Hi and welcome to the second vlog about uh, making adaptive game music. My name is Christopher. My name is Martin. And today we're going to talk about how to do it in Unreal. Okay, so the music for this Unreal demo is very, very much the core functionality of Elias with uh, a lot of um, dynamic le uh, la levels. Uh, and just as in the first vlog, on the first level, in this theme I also have a lot of variations uh, to make it sound new every time you start the game. And uh, the choirs here are allowed to change every second bar, strings every fourth, fourth bar, and one bar, so you see it's different on every one uh, here. Uh, actually, here you see a little glimpse of an upcoming feature. We're not going to go through that today. Um, okay, so if I start this music, I last chose some of the versions here. And in this game, you can get cold. That's the icy sound. Then you go move ahead. So you could say this is actually the starting level of the music. The first one was more to, to make a lot of variations and things like that. But the composition itself, this is the first one. We have the choirs singing some lyrics there. And as I move up. Brass gets a little bit more busy. We have a full choir now. And in this game, you can uh, you can find crystals all the time, and we have them here. You hear that harp? That harp is actually a tonal stinger, so it will change depending on the background music. And if we look here at the stinger tracks and open the crystal track there. You see it chooses the right one. But just to demonstrate this really clear, I just made for fun actually what happens if Vader, is, uh, Vader enters the game. And now the chord structure change, uh, changed uh, so the stinger will follow that. But then you know what a tonal stinger is. This is, isn't part of the game, it's just for this video. Let's move ahead. Level 5. Strings will start play. Staccato. Now we are closing into the battle, so the music gets more intense. The strings are starting to get crazy. So let's move to the battle, and we're going to do it with an action preset. And I knew from the start that the battle would be fairly fast, um, short I mean. <laughs> so as you can see here, it's just the music is, is just uh, 16 bars long I think. If we move uh -huh. it's more and more intense. And then we have the actual prison game over. Where we're talking about action presets, you can find them here. 
And if I go to the game over action preset, the way it looks is it's gonna play, it's in this theme, it's gonna play the silent level, but it's gonna use the stinger game over. So every loop trap will be silent and the stinger game over will play. That is how the music looks like in Elias. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, so now we're going to take a look at Elias inside of Unreal. But before we dive into this, uh, let's play the demo. Okay, so this time the music sounded like this when we started the level. As you remember, Christopher showed you that there were several variations uh, each time you start this music. So let's move on. And as you can see at the top there, you can see the levels and how they are increasing as we make progress through the level. And now I can hear the ticking noise and it's indicating that we're getting cold. So if you look at the man down in the corner, he's starting to freeze up. So listen now. Very close to the freezing point, the low pass filter kicks in. That's how that sounds. But now we're warm again, so let's move on. The harp you heard there was the tonal stinger that Christopher showed. Uh, so let's go pick up the next crystal and listen again. And we also start to increase in levels as we get closer to the end of the demo. Let's get some warmth. Last crystal. Now we're getting close to the, uh, the fight in this game. So when we reach the top there, we're going to change theme. Stay alive and the music will increase the closer we get to the end of this battle. As you heard there at the end, there was a stinger that finished it off nicely. Now let's take a look inside Unreal. So first of all, this is a blueprint project. So we're going to take a look at a couple of the blueprints where the calls to lives are being made. So first here in the character blueprint, we are actually spawning Elias. And this is probably something you don't usually do, but in this case it works because there's only one scene. And so it doesn't matter if, if Elias is spawning at the beginning of the level and uh, is despawning at the end of the level. But in your case, you're probably using more than one scene and the character will be spawn and despawn uh, a little now and then. And perhaps you even want the music to keep playing when changing scenes so you don't want to stop the playback and so on. So you probably want Elias to be running on top of it all in its own blueprint so it doesn't get spawned more than once and have more than one instance running at the same time. Because then weird stuff can start to happen when you send instruction to Elias and it doesn't know which of the instances you are actually sending the instructions to. So next, let's go into the temperature blueprint here. And this is where all the magical mathematics are happening. Uh, we're calculating the, uh, the distances to the torches and uh, keeping track of the temperature and uh, also with the locations as, uh, actually as well. Uh, the locations, like when you make progress through the level, you are colliding with the invisible colliders that tells you that you have reached a new area. Uh, so this, together with the temperature and all that, it's, it's calculated into this variable, and it's telling to Elias what level to play at each tick, if, if it has been updated. Uh, so yeah, so down below here, we have the rhythmical ticking and clicking noises that you heard when you started getting cold. 
So if you're warm, the other track will play at level 11, that's silent. Uh, but if you start getting colder, it will go to level 12, that's the ticking noise that you, that you heard. And if you get even colder, uh, the filter will kick in. Uh, then we have the tonal stinger you heard when you picked up crystals. So this blueprint is keeping track of all the crystals and when you pick them up. So this is where we play that stinger. And we're playing that stinger through the action preset because you can flag an action preset to jump ahead in the queue inside of Elias. And this is because that stinger has to be played straight away and there can't be no delay. So it can't wait for Elias to do other things before playing that stinger. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the boss platform blueprint. And it's when you reach the end of the air level and the battle is triggered. So if we take a look in here, you can see that this is where we run the action preset that starts the battle music. Uh, then when you make progress in this battle, depending on a timer, the music will go up in intensity, as you heard. And it's these two action presets that are run over here. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you have any more questions, just ask away. Take care.